Hello. First of all see Thrips pick how it look like. Then I will show you the symptoms in cotton crop. Thrips are a common pest of cotton plants, particularly during the seedling stage, causing damage like stunting, delayed maturity and potential yield loss. They are small, slender insects that feed on terminal tissues with piercing sucking mouthparts. This video shows actual symptoms of a thrips attack on cotton crops. If you're a farmer, agronomist, or just passionate about agriculture, this video is for you. Thrips may be tiny, but their impact can be huge, especially when cotton plants are young and vulnerable. Let's dive into the signs and symptoms you should watch out for in your field. Thrips attacks are most common during early crop stages, one to three leaf stage, dry, windy weather, cooler temperatures, which slow crop growth and make it harder for the plant to outgrow damage. Young seedlings are especially vulnerable. At this stage, even a small population of thrips can cause significant harm. Factors that encourage thrips infestation are nearby crops like onions, garlic, or weeds that host thrips, lack of early insecticide treatment, delayed crop emergence, use of non thrips resistant varieties. Let's take a close look at what happens when thrips begin feeding on young cotton plants. Number one. Leaf curling and distortion, one of the earliest signs is leaf curling. The edges of young cotton leaves begin to curl upward or inward. This is due to uneven cell damage caused by thrips feeding. Number two, silvering or bronzing of leaves as thrips scrape the surface of the leaves. The damaged cells lose their green pigment, resulting in a silver or bronze sheen on the leaves. This is often the most visible sign of feeding. Number three, Crinkled or wrinkled leaves, damaged leaves may appear crumpled, wrinkled or blistered. The distortion is especially severe when thrips feed on the growing points. Number four, shiny or sticky patches in some cases. Affected areas on the leaves may appear shiny or sticky due to thrips secretions or secondary infections. Number five, delayed plant growth because the terminal buds are often attacked. The growth of the plant is stunted. The plant may appear weak or shorter than unaffected plants nearby. If you inspect the underside of the leaves or the terminal buds, using a magnifying glass or hand lens, you may see tiny, fast-moving insects, creamy white larvae or yellowish adults, black fecal spots on the leaf surface. It causes up to 20 to 30% yield loss in severe cases. Do visual inspection, check the terminal leaves of 20 plants in multiple areas of the field. Here are some quick tips on prevention. Number one, seed treatment, use insecticide treated. Seeds to protect seedlings during the first few weeks. Number two, weed management, remove nearby weed hosts that harbor thrips. Number three, early planting, timely sowing helps crops outgrow early pest pressure. Number four, balanced fertilization, avoid excessive nitrogen, which can attract more thrips. Hope so you like it. 